Hello. So yes, definitely many people out there who know who I am are wondering why am I at this conference at all, much less on stage with you here right now. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am and to hopefully answer that question, please bear with me just a moment while I explain. So my name is Jay Freeman, um, but everyone online knows me as Sork. And I'm a member of a probably poorly named group called the iPhone Dev Team, a group of people who um, consider it their mandate to break down all of the restrictions um, that Apple has on their iOS devices, uh, allowing users and developers complete freedom and control to install whatever software they want or to make any other modifications they wish to make to their devices. In particular in that community, I run a, an alternative to the App Store called Cydia, which really specializes in everything that isn't an app at all, whether it be a ringtone or a wallpaper, a developer tool or a library, you find it in Cydia if it breaks that niche, of, like breaks the mold of an icon on your home screen that when you open it, you're using it, when you close it, it goes away. Something that you, um, has some kind of more lasting um, effect on your system, as it were. In particular, what people are very interested in in Cydia are things that we call mobile substrate extensions, or tweaks. Um, these are seamless, pervasive modifications to the experience of the system, allowing people, to, um, allowing people to change the software that's running on the device, whether it comes from Apple or third party like Twitter or Facebook, in order to get the features that they want to have when they want to have them. Mobile Substrate is a library that I developed back in, I think, 2008. Um, and that is what I'm here to talk to you about today, is that I have brought Mobile Substrate to Android. Uh, it is a little bit early right now, um, but I will be doing a talk right after this keynote in this room, um, explaining um, what I have currently and inviting people to, in essence, join me on this excursion. Um, now, in order to do a very, very fast demo then, using this device over here, which I think is going to pop up over there. All right. Um, so here I have a Nexus S. And I've made a very, very simple modification that you'll be able to see immediately, um, if I can cancel on that, which is that I have modified the settings application so that everything comes up purple. Um, in fact, I've modified all of the applications such that anything that attempts to get a color, all colors on the system get slightly tinted purple. Um, also, I part, by the way, I did partly choose this because it would be sufficiently high contrast such that no matter how the lighting works out. All right. Um, now, on this, on this um, Sorry, on, on this Galaxy S, tab, sorry, Galaxy Tab 10.1, I have the exact same code and extension running, making modifications to the tablet settings app, which for people who have been working in the field of rooted Android devices, you might know that, or just in general on Android, um, that the source code for the tablet edition of the operating system uh, isn't currently available. Making these modifications is then an incredibly complicated and irritating experience of disassembling, making patches, reassembling, and trying to put back together um, the, um, the system. So today, 1045, this room, come here. I'm going to be talking about um, why some of this stuff matters and why and how it all works. That's it. <laughs> all right.